Hey guys, uh, we are starting the stream of uh, Re Magic at the Boy Guys. Boy Guy just won the, uh, the bash. So, they don't want to play Harbor, no poke. I'd like to see record. It would be really interesting. I think I think they just pick record. Yeah, I think they will. For sure. Well, uh, wait. The, are they banning properly? Are they banning? Yes, yes, yes. So, Remagic picked Quarantan, Power of Retro picked Brackert. Yeah. So, and then Decider will be Noivil. Interesting. I don't really think those maps are good for Remagic. Like, uh, Quarantan is really camping map, so... So I think they almost play the same maps uh, in the group stages. No, they play harder for sure. Uh, and they played Harbor, Beckert, and Noivil. Or no, I think they that, that was Noivil for sure. I remember that. I think it was Harbor Noivir. Like and really Bro Magic basically won both maps. I think, I think they just picked record. Like yeah, twelve eight on sure. Harbor and Yeah, something like that. Eight, it eight, wasn't seven. really dominating, like the, the the score was twenty one to fifteen, I 15. think. So yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think this uh, this map list is much better for the boy, so I think they are having a chance of beating Be Magic, even though they are dominating every team. So that was I, I was thinking uh, because the banning system in the in the playoff is different. It can make big difference in terms of uh, giving some opportunities to different teams. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I was thinking if they will ban yeah. the. They are going to bash for the sides, or I think they are going to bash for the first map, which is weird because we didn't do it like that. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah. But yeah.
also do expect that it will be a three mapper, so will they play all three maps? What do you think? Well, to be honest, I don't really know, uh, like, three magic players, uh, they just came out of nowhere for me. Uh, maybe they were playing really, really in the back, and how I heard they got many of them banned, so I am not really sure about their, uh, about their skills on record. probably see uh, big discipline from both teams so it will be tough match for both both sides I think. Yeah, yeah but if you consider so Neuville is, uh, to me Neuville is considered also a Czech map so there are players that are always very good yeah, on Neuville that, that, that's uh, and they didn't win yeah. and they didn't win in Neuville either so I will be curious about Breckert so if they beat Power of Red from Breckert as well that's, yeah, that, yeah. that will be a major surprise to yeah. me. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully they won't, so we won't see uh, camp yeah. in Carentan or not interest in Carentan <laughs> afterwards. Yeah, throw out your nades guys and bash one more time. We didn't do it uh, in the previous match, but it's their choose choice. As you said, uh, there is a probability of Remagic winning uh, backward, but there is probably the same probability of winning, uh, uh, poor winning Karantan, you know, because I don't think uh, Karantan is uh, pretty much about the aim, it's about the discipline and the know to... Yeah, just finding you know, the loophole, yeah, just exactly. finding the hole. I, I'm really, uh, I'm really surprised that Remagic chose to, to play uh, what else could they pick? I don't know what Don't Don't Ville and Harbor were bond, they bond Rayard. There was nothing else really, so I'm I'm not that surprised by their pick of Carentan. Yeah, I'm not sure what what uh, last there, but Yeah, I don't really think uh, the map list is in favor of Free Magic, so it's gonna be probably a really interesting match. Yeah. Just by looking at the maps, I would I would say that Power of Retro is my favorite, but thinking you back on the You don't want to say in favorite, but in favor. <laughs> yeah, so I think they have a slightly better chance, but yeah. but again, as I was uh, as I was describing earlier, so the their group stage match was quite interesting. They couldn't beat Remagic on Neuville, and that was a big surprise to me. Well, there, there, there were a lot of points to 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 to, to do, you know, because right, was Harbor was only 12-8. Well well yeah, you can, you can, yeah, you can you turn that around. You well, can turn you, that around. Well, yeah, it's turnable, but still, when you think about it, when you're going to the next map and you need to do 13 points, you know, it's a lot. So. 
Yeah, but uh, it's it's a map where you are strong at, so you should be confident that you can do it. So that was that's why I was surprised. Yeah, they boy, didn't... aren't that strong on new world from the Czech teams, I would say. Uh, yeah, but I, ex you, know, you, you know, they still played it more often than Rear Magic, I think. So. Yeah. Like overall, uh, I would say like Czech teams play much more maps than other nations, uh, other like players or teams from uh, different countries or different nationality. Like Hungarian uh, teams are usually playing only like three or four maps. We yeah, we, we, t we, yeah we, ten we tend to play the four basic maps. Yeah. Arbor, Rayard, no uh, Donville and Carantan. Yeah, like check check people when they played against each other. Uh, we basically rotated all the maps and even added some, you know, like uh, I remember time when we played bridge, bridge, you know, German town. <laughs> yeah, German town was nice. Yeah, German town is a uh, quite good map to be honest. It, it reminds me, like maybe almost like a Counter Strike, you know, like mm -hmm. the type of yes. map. Uh, I agree. It we actually played played against the Czech Czech Republic in the Nations Cup final. Yeah, we I've played German Town. The, yeah, I've seen it in the movie. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, you, you know, they still played it more often than we imagine, I think. Okay, good luck, have fun guys. Uh, I don't know who just joined that stream, but you are watching the uh, semi-finals of Green Magic and Power of Retro. Uh, it's probably gonna be a really interesting matchup, uh, to be honest, so enjoy and grab a beer like I do. Nowhere to Harvey, to be honest. I've seen V Magic playing Carrington already on this uh, on this cup, and uh, they are sitting uh, uh, middle downstairs all the time. It's interesting. Yep, also open. Oh, what a kill on Manyasi from Hacker on A. It's kind of lucky, but he did it. Yep. Pico managed to get into the basement, so that could be interesting. Yeah, going from the basement is always strong. You can basically plant B and... Yeah, he's seeing one. Oh, he... I think he just wanted to bash. But no, nice no, no. kill on the answer. Nice kill on Hacker. So they just took down on A and yep. I'm not sure Great if job. someone is yeah, Mike is middle top, so he's in good spot to kill Pico. He kills him even though he tried to lie down. And yeah, it's three V one right now and Mambo managed to kill Mike in the middle, so he's all alone right now. Half HP. PRM is going to the back right now. And he's doing a lot of steps, but Mumble already moved, so... And Aussie is waiting for him, he's predicting. And Mambok was looking there. Oh, oh! 
only five seconds that he's not gonna yep. do anything. Yeah, yeah what Pico a shame. Did, yeah, Pico did a really nice job with that two kills. So he managed to even it out, but yeah, they know the, the first yeah. close round. They know the the weakness of them, I think now. So they will try to get advantage of it. Nice nades on, on the guy in the box house on B there, he's below a half HP, so... The answer behind B, seeing the guy in the boxes, he missed his shots and... Well, he nicely camped uh, the middle. Yeah, I think th there is not gonna be any surprise on this map, so it, we, we we will see a really disciplined current on uh, poor really want the revenge. So I think this was a clip uh, from uh, the Mikey. I didn't see that. Yeah, I think Mikey did just did a clip. I, I just lagged. I don't know if uh, it was me or survey, but I don't think that was clean. Yeah, it's all along RS on four people, and I don't think he's can do anything. Yep, they finish him out, so it's 2 0 to our magic. That's a nice start for them. Yeah, good start for them. Uh, I was just thinking how many points uh, poor you wanna do as a. Uh, as, uh, uh, well, well, bo when both teams uh, play discipline. Uh, it's enough to do like two points for the attack. Uh, and nice, nice kill, kill by Aris. Kill, yeah. Where did he kill him? Probably on the middle. B house. Oh, B house. Yeah. Last round they hit him also pretty hard. Yep. So. Yeah, but also already moved towards B house. So. Yeah. They probably don't expect him. Any answer? Oh, nice kills by Hecri. So it's all alone, Mambo. And he's not able to do anything, so. So three points uh, for uh, B Magic. It wasn't it wasn't really dominating. Uh, yes, this, was, yeah. this was the easiest round. So yeah, it them. was. Uh, I must say, like, Janswe is playing it. Uh, nicely on B. Right now he just run in, but the last round he just they just didn't know about him. Yeah, they could nicely looked out from the MG. He was able to kill Mambo. Okay, uh, Nate from Hacker going to the bond house. Ambik jumps out from the brush house. And I don't think he is able to see anyone. Hacker gets killed by Ares yeah. because he just went too MG far is away. Open now. MG and is open, open. Now. open. No, 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 no. He, it's, it's not open. Uh, who was waiting there? Janswe is waiting there already. So he kills Ares running towards the, the towards the A. So Mikey kills uh, Pico and. Uh, Revenge was there, Manyasek also getting killed, it's and it's all alone and big. And yep. nothing gonna happen. Yeah, Ni rotations are working out quite nicely for Remagic. Whenever they lose a lose a guy from A or B. Yeah, I don't even know how, how they are there. so fast, you know, it's he must have been uh, really close to, to the A. We are seeing yeah. three running to the A right now. Yeah, it was. Uh, I must say, like, yeah. All see sitting in the bush on the on the middle.
By the way, V Magic uh, don't have that boring playstyle how uh, I would really expect it. Uh, they are looking out. Uh, they are changing the places, like for example the Mikey in the in the cellar, uh, rotating to the middle house and middle garden and looking out and trying to find some. So it's not really uh, looking on death points and checking your stairs and are still with a scope and yeah, Pico kills Hacker and Ace so Ace open they are not rotating Janswe on V spawn so he might cover it so now it's all alone against 4 Pico and the MG kills or C so against three right now so he's having one on the respawn one covering it from the mg window and he might find him because he's going back he's not so yeah ju he just doesn't have time yeah it's only 20 seconds so no he found one oh, unfortunately he can't kill him and so five, five zero. points, yeah. I'm wondering when RS will put the sniper down. Yeah, I, I think they will change their plans maybe now. They will try to go B. Are we gonna see B? We haven't I seen a really a rush, so I am already in the box Seems house. Like. Oh, nice shot from Mikey. Mm, yeah, nice kill from uh, middle down. He's there all the time and doing good job there. Yeah, Pablo Redford probably need a point to do right now. Because the air, you know, moral thing is making a lot in this game and losing 6 to 0 uh, is not really good. So, Malmbok would find Mikey in the middle. Yeah, he does. So, right now it's 2 on 3. And uh, one minute left, and I think there is a chance of doing the point. Aris needs to crunch, and PRM is waiting for him. Uh, and Aris, is he going top? He's not yet, so. By the way, Mambo is already going to the middle, and no one is there, so. Arvis just fake, faking the BPR and checking out from the B house, and they will probably know one is there, and I is getting killed, unfortunately. So it's all alone. Mambo doing steps, so PR does know he's going on B, and he will be able to kill him. And Nate is coming also. It wasn't a good Nate though, but. PRM finishes uh, Mambo on B plan, so yeah, it's interesting tactics from them. Uh, no one on the middle top, basically, and it's working out. Are you smoking a joint there, Aga? Nope. Nope. Oh, nice. Nice chance for Hacker killing one. I think he might have hit one. Yeah, he did. And they just rush on B, and that's a that's an insane a round for them. For V Magic, they just totally deleted poor running and running to the B. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. They, uh, it wasn't really. Good rush there. 
Yeah, but at least they tried something different now, but it still didn't work, so they are in a tough position right yeah, now. Yeah, they need to take care of the Jansman behind the B, because he's there all the time in every round. He's basically going there and sneaking there slowly, so... And now he gets hit from the RS, and he needs to run away, and he's not going to go back behind B, I think. And he's gonna go at the box house. PRM kills Ambik in the box house. Pico kills Jansman behind the box house, and PRM is in the box house. Kills also Pico, and he kills third person in there on the stairs. And one more to go. So it's all alone, Manyasek. He needs to go for him. No other chance. And B I M just take down three people going upstairs to the box house. So pretty crucial time for Pablo Fredfo right now. Losing eight to zero is not really good for your thinking they really need to win one point at least nice kill from Jansve uh, my ASIC running towards the A yeah as I said like three magic are playing it pretty nice they know when to look out they are changing their positions and pretty good So it's all alone picker right now against Force uh, and it's gonna be pretty hard for him. He's having wa one minute though, but no, nothing gonna happen. So, 9 to 0 right now. Are we gonna see some some rush or not? We are seeing a rush from That's the from the from B. Yeah, yeah, from Janswe. Really crazy. nice from Janswe. That's crazy and yeah. very brave. Yeah. What are they doing to the floor right now? By the way, I must say they are really having a good timing, you know, like, I don't want to say lucky, but whenever they look out from one place, they find a player, and, yeah. Yep, they just win basically everything. So the problem for power of was that they couldn't control the map so they couldn't control A, they couldn't control B yeah. they were trying to go slowly in the middle, that didn't work either so they didn't really have a chance, there were like two close rounds and that's it, yeah, the rest of the rounds were all, yeah, first pretty one easy was the, first one yeah. was the closest one and you need to and yes, yep, sorry uh, I was too busy talking uh, yeah, what I was wanted to say uh, Yeah, Pablo Retro were basically uh, checking the spots of uh, uh, Remagic as an exercise, but when they didn't go there and when they went there, they were in checking it, checking it out. So it was a little bit lucky, but still it was dominating. And oh, wow. what the fuck! I didn't see that. How they killed two people? Um middle house downstairs oh they were trying God. to so one guy was standing in the door the other was one was trying to go upstairs and PRM just peeked at the fence and killed yeah, both yeah PRM is going towards the A and then I don't think RS is gonna check it is he 
Yeah, they know about him in DA now. Two in DA, three in DA. And. Aris is gonna have crucial time there. Nice, nice two kill. kills. Some, um, a little bit lucky the second one on par. Yeah, yeah the second one was lucky. Oh, and they didn't. Yeah. They did a jump. Nice so, kill. Nice. Nice comeback. And the fourth one is too much for him, but he kills three. That's really nice. So, right yeah. now it's two on two, and. Can we get the first round for Power of Retro? Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> so, do you still want to watch current then? And no other option of going uh, B, I think. Nice kill with the nade. They are still. He's still uh, right now. Janzve alone, and he's still having uh, more than half a minute. So. Yeah, but seems like they don't know where he is. So. Now they know. Because now they know. Saw him. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he's gonna go for the B. He is will. He? he will. No. I don't know. No time for him. Ten seconds. And he needs to go on a running towards the plant right now. And B. He's going. And he's going to plant it. He's going to plant it. Yeah, he will plant it. Oh, that's a bad miss from Miko. That, that's and a bad nice miss from Miko. Yeah, from Miko had an beak. Yeah. Uh, I think that that was a little bit mistake of uh, from the V Magic going on A uh, when they killed you in the middle. I think it was fine, so they sent like four guys in, and it was just Aris who, who was huge there, so they couldn't kill him. And well, still, you know, when when you know you kill two people in the middle, I would just run towards the middle, you know, when you are having the middle. Uh, it's a uh, crucial time for the opponent team, so... Seeing some nades on B right now, and that nade went. Ah, okay. Uh, box house down. Mambo kills Hacker from the stairs. Nice job by him. Yeah, but they killed RS in MG, so they need to rotate to A. Yeah, and kind of Manyasek yeah. is already there. So that's good for them. Yeah, they just slow down. I don't know why. Looks like one going to the cellar and two, two towards the A. Now they know about Manyasek and did he just hit uh, his teammate? Yes, he did. Mikey, Mikey hit, shot his teammate. And this was really not clever from Manyasek, he just gets killed from Janzve. I'm going back to the Mambo and it's 2v3 right now in favor of the ally side and we magic are already planting the A this could be the Explosives last round planted. yeah Ambik is in a tough situation right now 1v3 one one yeah I totally forgot it's uh they play to you till 11 so Killed by him, and the Yats I just killed him uh, going towards the MG. So, this is the first map, and V Magic totally dominated. Uh, yeah, Pablo of Retro uh, 
Well, they I played for the for the really easier side at the beginning, but still, uh, they haven't given any chance to Cloud of Retro, so we are gonna move to the second map, that's the map of Cloud of Retro, and it's gonna be Brickward, so I'm really curious how this will end up, I'm really predicting uh, uh, winning uh, of the Czech team of Cloud of Retro, so... And we will see. It's really their home map, so yeah. But the Czech teams are really having the problems with the foreigner uh, players or teams um, who with playing Blackheart when they don't play their style. You know, the Czech teams are used to the Czech style Blackheart going fast and etc and when one team just goes slow and going B and turn uh, back on A it, it can make problems to to Fabra Retro so yeah we'll see so but I'm really uh, really expecting uh, a lot of discipline from the from the yeah. side Petro. of Fabra uh, Retro so back Okay, they already started, so I don't know whoever just joined the stream, but you are watching the second map of the semi-finals against the uh, Power of Retro and B-Magic. And we are seeing some uh, Nate or Mikey, but uh, it's not a bad one, maybe getting hit. And we will see the tactics of uh, B-Magic, if they will go fast or slowly. Yeah, this is like a slow push. So slow push, like you mentioned. So it wasn't not that slow, a, like. Uh, but they are not forcing A at all. Yeah, they are not forcing an They're A. And they now. won't. Yeah, they won't force the A. I think they know they are used to it. Nice kill from Aris. He's already in the. In the in the woods, uh, in the in the forest. So this is the discipline. Uh, what I was talking about. They know they are not gonna play the Czech style record. Yes, and but Remagic now is rotating now back to A to the spawn. So this could be interesting. Ambic is already checking it. So. Now one of the allies just was was shooting from the, from the bushes. So now they know about them. They are they are going on the A. So yeah, Jansve meanwhile going through the MG. I think this can make problems. No, it won't. Mambo just takes him down. It's all alone. OC getting killed by Ares from the big ruins. And good first round from the. From the power of retro, and I think just remagic Jack shoe. What can they do? And power of retro will really re uh, expect that. And uh, yeah, uh, they will. They know they are not gonna play regular check record. So 
we are seeing a big B push, B big big long push. So, are we having someone on the on the long? Yeah, we do. Uh, it's Pico, and he's gonna be in big trouble if no one is gonna help him. He's gonna die soon, and he takes down one. He killed. He needs to throw the nades, and he goes down, and. Mikey, no HP already. And Arv is already in the forest, so good position to cover the B. It looks like the PR beam is already turning back to A, and we are seeing uh, yeah, some yep. M MG push. MG, yeah, MG yep. push. So exchange one for one and right now it's 3v3 and time is running out, it's not even a minute, PRMM is on the A. Arves kills uh, the guy on the A, so now there are two guys on the B and Arves is gonna face a scope there and Maybe he's not expecting. Now he expects that and he's gonna take it more careful. Time is running out. It's only 25 seconds left and they will need to run. Nice move from Mambo. It's only one person left and no time for him. Nice kill by Ares. Yeah, this is what I said. Uh, discipline. I think in, in the case. Uh, in this situation, when uh, Remagic are probably going mostly on the B long, there is basically no uh, meaning of sending one on the B long because you can't really kill five people there, so they should just stay back. Yeah, but Pico is there again. Is he? he yeah, but he's not that yeah, aggressive. He's, he's in the back. Yeah, that, what yeah, yeah I, what, he can what, turn what back I, from there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. What, that was what I was saying. He spots two, yeah, two guys at MG. Yeah, they know right now. Maybe some nades will run in. It's three people in the MG, and they are waiting to throw the nades. Why no nades from the exit side are running in? They are rushing the MG right now. Who is there? Mambo getting kills, kills one, and there is Moy. He doesn't know. Mikey kills Mambo in the AB, and. Ambik needs to back up right now. They are going through. Aussie did a That's nice. That, yeah, that was a very smart play by Remagic. Yeah. Nice play from them. And it's only one left right now. And it's Aris in the big rig. Yeah, and he's getting killed. Uh, yeah, Mambo was alone and he couldn't do it, so. Yeah, I'm yeah. really surprised that when Pico knew. They are on MG at least two or three, and they were literally sitting on the MG. Why? Why no nades just came in? So because they don't have Botsy on their team. <laughs> yeah. And we are s gonna see probably a push. No, no, they they split. They split, and Jans was spotted Pico going down, and Ares getting hit by no aim from the hacker. And Pico is all alone, down on the long, kills Aussie at the tree, right now it's 5 or 3 and good shot from uh, Pablo Fretro. Running in, they are rushing the MG right now, who is there? Mambo getting kills. Long. Mambo rushes MG. Nice job by him. And only one who last is uh, BRM on the uh, on the hill uh, towards the A and getting killed. So it's three to one. And good point from Pablo Fletro. Uh, what is the third map? The I will. 
New will, okay. But it's still far, so... If your magic can get 2-3 more rounds, then they could win it as well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Nice kill on Manyasic. And they have the Mario. opening kill now, yeah. so this, this round can, can suit them. And we are seeing, they are going through the MG again. Mambo needs to cover it precisely. Nate's coming out. Nate on his back. And they are going with the Thompson. MB kills, kills Janswe and PRM. Uh, two on the A. One scope, one bar. He knows one is in the MG. Hacker is going through the MG already. And he kills Ambik, so it's all alone. And Pico in the AB, and that's the second foreign point for the V Magic. Nicely done by them. Yeah, so power of retro now need four rounds to be safe. So that's that's a that that puts a bit of pressure on them. Yeah, it does. What do you mean by four rounds? Like to to I make mean it all, seven to I, three? No, no, I me I meant all rounds. All rounds. The rest of the rounds in defense. Uh, Nexus. Well, so you need like yeah. you need that you need at least seven, but. Yeah, at Preferably least seven. Eight, yeah, eight exactly. Yeah, yeah. Having Nexus. six, it's it, it would be really crucial for them. And Pico is having a doing good job on the long, and now it's all alone. Uh, PRM getting killed. Nice job, but Pico killing how many? Three of them, and Aris getting k killing two. So nice job by two players. Yeah, they are gonna push the MG again, I think. Yes. Seems like it. And Pico is probably too much in, in, in front. He was totally standing on the hill. He didn't know they are going on the long. And we are seeing Janswe already running towards the B pretty, pretty uh, fast. So... Two at the MG. Hacker is hit already from the nade. Uh, this nade is running at the AB. Yeah, nice nade from to the AB. Mambo is already uh, no HP. And we are seeing three people on the B already. Do they know about them? Iris in the in the forest. He is not able to hit anyone. They are going to plant. He's not able to kill him. Bomb is planted. Bomb is planted. It's 4 on 4 right now. And... Mambo could try to defuse if they... The, the team will come up. What a shot from Mikey. What a lucky shot from Mikey right there. Nice kill from Maniasix. It's no, only... Mikey's alone. Yeah. Mikey right there. Crucial time for him. No HP. He's getting killed. And Pablo Fletro just secured this point. Uh, yeah. It was really interesting round. There is uh, an angle on from the from the B forest. You cannot really see the people. And I think uh, Ares was really surprised seeing three or four people on the B and one running towards the plant already. So. Yeah, but these are the rounds that Power of Retro didn't win on Carantan, so they were losing all close rounds, but they they did a nice retake now, so this is what they need. 
do I see Mambo sitting in the MG? Is he gonna do an anything? One getting killed on the P long pickoff from the from the back, killing one. Why he killing Manyasek? He was just standing in the middle. Uh, what yeah, a that's that's what that's, a place. That's very confident from him. Yeah, this, he wasn't afraid of the uh, rifle shooting at him. He was just standing there. He's a yeah. brave man. Yeah, and it's working out like what a no scope he did for the previous round on the B, but he's getting killed. I think Pico just got hit there. No, he's full HP. And he's seeing the three people, you know, two people there, it's Ambik in the front, so only one last brave man is Yanza with a scope against two people, they are both on the A and he won't do anything, so it's the sixth point for Pablo Fretro and well done by them. Well, by well done by them in terms of going to the overtime. Overtime map is uh, new. Will uh, we are playing to the 11 points only? It's the semi-finals uh, of this cup. So we are seeing Pico is already on the long. I just need to find him. He's gonna have crucial, crucial time. He kills Aussie already. Good job by him. But he doesn't know there are more and more people and it's not only more, it's all of them, so... And they had Yazvaraj at MG and he's through, he killed Mambo. Ambik is not able to kill Yansve. Uh Did they turn around? They were... Okay, Yansve is already in the AP, so... Really good uh, position from them. Iris probably doesn't know that he's waiting for them. Is he waiting for the plant? Yes, he is. Jansve meanwhile kills him. Iris is able to kill the planter. So right now it's two on one. And Pico kills uh, Mikey on the long. And right now it's Jansve with quarter of the HP. And we'll see a heads up one on one. Uh, Pico running from yeah, the they just missed each other. They yeah, that's other. it's it's really interesting. Uh, not interesting, it's also interesting, but really a uh, clever move from Pico going uh, from the ally side. And yeah, I don't know if Janswen knows he can't hear the diffuse from here. Pico is going towards him. And bad timing for Pico. And Janswe is able to take down the third point for the V Magic. So. This round will be very important. Yeah. For both teams. Exactly. So. This round is really important for both teams. What tactics are we gonna see from the V Magic? They are going on the long side again. Uh, Pico is gonna stay probably in the back. Yeah, he needs to back up a little bit. Yeah, and Pico and shot uh, Aussie. Did so, he? so no HP for him. Yeah, yeah, no HP for Aussie. But PRM gets the opening kill. That's huge for V Magic. That's huge. Are they gonna turn around? No, it's three going MG. Janswe already going with the Thompson. Who is there? No one. Again, yeah. Mambo they getting deleted by a nade. Janswe already rushed in. Pico kills Janswe in the AB. And they are four against one right now. Ares kills Mikey at the AB. Aussie running from the B and he's able to kill probably Ares there. 
No, RS takes him down and Hacker revenged him. So it's fourth point for the Remagic. It's yeah. gonna be hard times for Parrot Retro right now. Yeah, and they lost three rounds through MG. Yeah. So they, did, they didn't focus too much on MG. Yeah, they lost three rounds uh, through the MG. Exactly. again uh, Pico is gonna stay probably in the back yeah he needs to back up a little bit yeah and Pico and shot uh, uh, Aussie so, he so no HP for him yeah and no HP for Aussie but PRM gets the opening kill that's huge for the magic that's huge are they gonna turn around Going and Gians were already going with the top seven. Who is there? No one. Yeah, yeah, Mambo getting deleted by a nade. Gians were already rushed in. Pico kills. Gians were in the AB. And they are four against one right now. RS kills Mikey at the AB. Aussie running from the B and he's able to kill probably RS there. No, RS takes him down and Hector revenged him. So it's fourth point for the B Magic. It's yeah. gonna be hard times for Parrot Retro right now. Yeah, and they lost three rounds through MG. Yeah, so they did, they did so much on yeah, they lost three rounds uh, through MG. Exactly. So right now, Parrot Retro need five points at least to stay in this uh, semi-final match, or uh, I mean. Well, they need uh, four to tie the game, but five to win this uh, map right away. We are probably gonna see really fast rush from them on the A. One going to the MG. Uh, Aris with the scope. Yeah, kills Janswe in the big ruins. Nice Nate's running Pico. eight. Nice kill by Pico. This is the pressure that the Czech teams are having on the A. Plant already going on. Mambo is planting. Uh, and three guys at the AB, Remagic in Brick Trouble, and I don't think Power of Retro are gonna keep this point to the Remagic. Bomb is planted, they are having this covered. Nice kill by Mambo on the AB. A hacker, meanwhile, kills uh, Manasek uh, at the A, I think. And only one is Hacker. Killing Ambig in the AB, and still it's uh, 3v1 right now, and I don't think he's able to do anything. He's able to kill one, and nice point for for Pavlov Retro. Really nice uh, rush from them. Nice kill by Iris with a scope, uh, with a scope, uh, the scope, killing their own sniper, and well done by them. We are seeing Power of Retro again going towards the A. Ares takes down Hacker behind the middle bush. Nice kill by Pico and Mambo is able to plant again, I think. He's going to plant. Yes, he's at the plant. Ambik is trying to kill the Anzve. Going to the small wounds. He's able to. Aussie knows the anti plant. So he kills Mambo. And Ambik he tries to go to the plant. So they are planting right now. Explosive. Three allies against three axes. Aussie kills Arrester. Bad move from him, I think. Nice kill by Ambic there. And it's only one man standing. My Mikey in the AB. And nice kill by MB. Uh, yeah, so the power of retro started pretty nicely. Yeah, this very is what good they start. Needed. Very good start. So the pressure is now on 
Free magic. Because they, they cannot afford to lose any more rounds. But exactly. Seems like they they can, can, they cannot do anything with the A push. Yeah, they, they don't really know the right positions of covering the A. So nice kill, again, nice kill. kill. Exactly, yeah. nice kill by Aris again. He's so good with his scope. Who nice double kill from Yonsei. Oh yeah, yeah. He kills two right there. And all he kills Ambik. They just uh, harvey too much right now and getting killed, getting punished, punished there. So it's Mayasek uh, killing one from the small wins and 2v2. 2v2 situation there. Aris just picked up bar, uh, pretty used for him, for him I would say. And now if he aims the AB, one will come out. Is he gonna do? No, he missed his opportunity. He missed his shot afterwards, and he might know they are waiting for the anti plant now. No, they don't know. He just fakes the bomb. <laughs> but the anti anti plant, plant is yeah. But Osi knows. Osi doesn't throw the nade. Yeah, I was looking right now. And now he's now he's uh, yeah goes for it. And Malashek dies. Oh wow, my god, what a, what, yeah, what a timing there. Again, RS was, uh, RS was watching the <laughs> corridor. Janswa didn't peek when. Uh, Ares started moving the Yanswa pig. Unlucky. So unlucky. So unlucky. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's luck or not. Like, they did basically the same on the current turn, you know, but. Is it skill or luck? Or just the sixth sense? already having good position. Uh, My boy's already taped. Yeah, he's plant. already at the plant, but he's getting killed. They were two at the middle bush. So right now it's three air eyes against four X's. Uh, Yatsa going towards the MG. That could be interesting. Meanwhile, Aussie kills Manyasek. The small ruins or uh, broken, uh, broken cannon or whatever it is. Nice kill from nice RS. Kill from yeah, so both allies are at the A. Middle bushes, there is a PRM uh, having kind of trouble, no HP there, so he needs to lie down. Almost kills the guy running in the small ruins. Mike is on the anti plant plane. Uh, and Antipan running in. And no, he's he, he and he to the, yeah. to the tree. What the fuck? Okay, and, and, and killing now and Ambi. he finishes the job. Well done by him there. Mambo already getting killed uh, from middle bush. Yeah. Ooh, nice, double, nice double. Yeah, he's doing huge this good, round. Good. And job. he's getting killed from MG. Yeah, Expect nice. Three, three. Killed by MB. And who is there coming? The MG Aussie from the AB. Is he gonna be able to kill MB? He's already running to the 
to the plant he missed his opportunity of killing on Ambik. Ambik is planting so that means it's three exiles against two allies bomb is planted MB kills Aussie running out of AB Pico is at the, is at the middle bush trying to kill the guy uh, in the big ruins one in the AB and in my opinion this is pretty good position for Republic of Retro to score this point they know those situations Pico should be careful about about the guy on the his uh, right it's side it's 1v1 right now and Janswe no HP getting killed by Pico and that's the ninth point really important point for the Pavlov Retro right now well done by them uh, the round wasn't really going well at the beginning for them they were 5 on 3 afterwards it was 3 on 3 because they just managed to kill two people from the V-Magic and they turn around the point so well played and we are seeing Power of the Throw moving uh, to the A again Ares opening kill on Power EM Mambo is running towards the A plant again and I would recommend him uh, well done Ambik and Pico both doing a kill there and anti plank running in. Uh, Mambo is able to plant right now. I don't think any more anti plank going on. And being killing OC and it's 5 on 0 right now. It's a clean round. Yeah, and clean it's round. Point. Well map played. Point yeah, Mambo this is a match point uh, for. No, no I, mean, I mean, map point for Pablo Fretro. And there is a big prob probability is of, of seeing uh, the third map. Yeah. Yeah, Power of Retro seems more confident attacking now than they were in defense. Yeah, they knew they are really strong on the attack, so... And Mambo is already running to the plant, so... He was doing that every round. Yeah, it's, yeah this, this is how you should do it. Pico kills Barry M running towards the small ruins. MB kills from the MG, nice job by him. He's doing it already, almost every round, so... Nate's coming to the end, to the plant. Mambo is able to plant right now. It's uh, four on three right now in favor of uh, the ally side, and I think this is the map. Nice kill by Mambo, and, and Hacker is having some. We are very close to this side of our map. And Hacker needs to run away. A nice kill by by RS there. And that's it. 11th point for Pablo Retro. It's 1-2-1 one one, uh, right now after two maps. So we are going to have the third map of the semifinals. It's going to be the New Will. And those teams already played New Will each other in the, in the basic uh, group. So... They know what to expect, uh, and it's gonna be pretty interesting, uh, even uh, from the point of view that uh, this map is uh, pretty even in terms of uh, the, the 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 sides. Uh, if you know what I mean, you know there is no side having advantage. You know it's. It's good to play attack, it's good to play the exit side, so it's like 50-50 on this map. So I am predicting pretty, pretty tough fight for the final of this cup. I think this is the map. Nice kill by Mambo. Is having some we are very close to this side of our map. And Hacker needs to run away. A nice kill by by RS there. And that's it. 11th point for Pablo Retro. It's 1-2-1 one one, uh, right now after two maps. So we are going to have the third map of the semifinals. It's going to be the new will. And those teams already played New Will each 
other in the in the basic uh, group so they know what to expect uh, and it's gonna be pretty interesting uh, even uh, from the point of view that uh, this map is uh, pretty even in terms of uh, the, 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 the sites uh, if you know what I mean you know there is no site having advantage you know it's it's good to play attack, it's good to play the exercise, so it's like 50-50 on this match. So I am predicting pretty, pretty tough fight for the final of this cup. So, Danny, how do you see the chances of, uh, of the teams? 
I think this will be a close one. Yeah. How I, I said, uh, the sides are pretty even, you know, so... Yeah. And, and that's, what I we, think that's what we saw in the group stages as well. So it, it, was, a, it was a very close map. Yeah, I think they, they decided to bash, uh, didn't they? Yeah, they will bash. Yeah, they will bash. Yeah, they just throw away the nades and we are gonna see the... The... I think uh, Power Turtle uh, uh, prefer of going uh, attack. Uh, I think their attack is pretty strong. So whoever uh, joined the stream right now, welcome uh, to the stream. You are watching the third map of this of this matchup. It's a decisive map. It's one to one right now. It's semi final of. Uh, uh, Call of Duty 1 Mania uh, Cup and it's all alone, uh, Aussie right now bashing uh, against 4 players uh, Power Filter won the bash for the side and they choose allies as I said so So, Danny, how do you see the chances of, uh, of the teams? Let's see how they start. So, I remember that in the group stages, Power of Retro was yeah. winning 3 nil oh, said, uh, in uh, allies, and then even, you know, so Romagic yeah. adjusted that's their that's tactics a bit and managed to come back. So, let's see what happens now. Yeah, I'm really curious. Uh, it's even more, uh, more interesting game. Uh, uh, or it's gonna be even more interesting in UL because they played this map in the group stage. So as we mentioned, mentioned. Yeah, so they they now know what the other team does on this map. So exactly. So they yeah they 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 have that experience. So I'm hoping for an overtime. <laughs> So good luck, have fun. Uh, let's see the tactics. Uh, part of that are usually going fast. A, it's I a B push. Yeah, I it's think a that. B push. Good. Uh, oh, he's not. Um, he's not able to catch the guy. And also behind the. MG already and uh, Pumpetro is are in the clutch right now. Pico kills Hacker on the B jump. Nicely done by him. And Mambo knows one is behind the library, one is behind the MG, so and the Yanzve is also at the B. So Yanzve kill Iris behind the MG. Mambo Killing Aussie to the to the leg behind the MG and it's three on three right now. Three on two. Uh, Pico yeah, kills Jansve on the Do people. they expect the RM there? The RM is in the corner. Do no. they expect Mikey to the back right now and killing two people. Well done by him. Pico trying to wait for him. Is he gonna go there? No, he's not. So. PRM covers the B. No, oh, Pico missed the shot. He's still having time though. 40 seconds to go. Explosives planted. And well, well played by PRM. Yeah. He surprised Pico. Yeah, yeah. He Pico didn't know about him, so. But well played by Mikey going to the back, he just surprised Power of Retro there, so I was really expecting... Uh, yeah, I was surprised by Power of Retro slowing down, because they, they offered they, they offered a chance to re-magic to rotate, and that's that's what... Well, I don't think they really slowed down there, because they... They stopped, they stopped at Fountains, they stopped at MG... Because they had no no other chance, one was behind the MG, one was on the plant, and one was at, one, one was at the library, so I think there is uh, 
the, there wasn't really a space to to rush and now we are seeing uh, a rush as usual so one at the tank uh, the ants were already killing the guy uh, running behind the hotel he's uh, okay it's an exchange there four on three right now also he kills mambo already running to the back bomb is planted Two on four, bomb is planted. Uh, Iris is on the plant. Pico kills one to the back. Nicely done. Iris also kills Hacker on the middle. So right way, it's two on one, and they will secure the point. Well done by Pavel Fretro right now. Two on four, Pico and Iris did the point for them. Well played there. Yeah, Remagic uh, in this case really needed to slow down a little bit uh, and going in pairs or something like that. Hacker already jumping on the B jump again. And we are seeing uh, Pablo Vetro are going on the A plant again. Nice kill by Iris. He saw him. Uh, before uh, lying there, Jan's back killing Ambik on the middle. It looks like no one on A. PRM to the back already. And Pico might found him. Jan's back behind the tank at the rush house there. Hacker kills Iris uh, behind the MG. And I think he missed the opportunity of planting there. PRM meanwhile kills Pico on the respawn. And Mambo kills getting killed on the middle. Maniasic all alone against four against four is there. He still has time to do something. Yeah, this round was pretty solved. Uh, what do you think? Uh, Bob and were already on the plant. Yeah, and they waited too long with the yeah, plant. They, so they, they, were, they exactly. were trying to find another kill before planting the bomb, but yeah. it didn't work out for yeah, them. Yeah. Exactly, they missed the opportunity uh, planting and it could be a point for them, no one was on the A. Yeah, but it's easier for us. Because we see all the players, so... Yeah, exactly, that's why we he we are here. <laughs> and you can see no one on A from the side of Remagic. They are basically at the library. Bomb is already planted. They don't hesitate. Iris kills Hacker on the middle. Also kills Aussie at the middle at the library. Well played there. All alone, Mikey in the in the bathroom there, and Manasek kills him. Mikey was already on the jump there. Do you think this is better for Remagic? So they are winning one round each. Um, do you think this this you know supports the Axis team, so it will be easier for them to attack? Uh, after, I think after, I after think it will. Like I think it will. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think it's if it's gonna be five to three at five, it's gonna be tough time for the Power Fletra. and we are seeing uh, a push once again, and they are seeing one going to the hotel. Two guys from the ally sites already fell down and MB cannot find him. He is behind the hill and he doesn't move. MB spotted someone on the jump but he doesn't see him anymore. 
Nice kill by OC, but Embik is still all around and he cannot find anyone. He just missed his opportunity of killing uh, some people, but he managed to kill right now two people, but it's kind of too late. He's uh, all alone against three people and Mikey is already at the plant there. And yeah, even though Embik was able to kill Mikey, Hacker finishes. Yeah, that, that's a weird jumping move from Mikey. I noticed it already yeah, on Karentan. On He's jumping while crouching. So yeah, that, that's interesting. Well, Again, I, I do it, it. I do it too, so. Yeah, but it's not usual. So he looks like a chicken when he j he's jumping. <laughs> nice kill by Pico. Nice kill by MB killing Hacker falling down from the B jump there. Explosives. Mambo killing PRM on the middle and it's probably gonna be the third point for Pavro Tretro. Yeah, but again, and it's an ex exchange of rounds. Yeah, so. exchange of rounds. So exchange for the rounds. It would be nice uh, from the view of part of the retro to make this point. Uh, as we discussed, I think uh, attacking side is easier there. And you can see Ambik is already on the same spot for the third round there. Really uh, interesting, he can get there. Hacker kills him immediately uh, from behind the MG Yatsway on the jump. So he's having a Good spot to kill some. And bomb is already planted. It's, uh, it's five on three right now. We have seen this situation already. Uh, Pablo Tretto were able to do the point. Manyase kills the hacker on the middle. And they should uh, back up a little bit. Oh, Picker getting hit by by the by the by the pistol. And it's all alone. Picker right now. Where's the bomb planted? He's not able to see it. Oh, what a shame there. Yeah, but Mike was on the jump already, so yeah, he was helping his teammate. Yeah, it's really, really good spot there. <laughs> to be honest, I have never been to this jump on the bathroom. <laughs> I played this game for 15 years and I have never been there without a no clip. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of rotation. Jansve is already jumping on the uh, B jump. Hacker uh, changed the position with the Jansve uh, going on A and doing a good job there. Uh, even though he's getting killed the previous round, he was able to kill uh, uh, three people. Uh, Embik knows Jansve is on the jump and Oss, he kills two people on the middle. So it's 2 on 4, MB kills Mikey on the middle and he's going to plant. The Jansve going towards from the respawn, now he's behind the MG. We will see what he's able to do. Nothing, nothing. Manyasek takes him down and it's 2v2 right away. MB uh, cleverly uh, covering the, the bathroom jump but no one there. PRM already at the, at the tank. MB doesn't know, he might be surprised. Yeah, he is surprised. He wasn't really expecting PRM being in plant and Manyasek also gets killed. Yeah, that, what, that was a miscommunication wha from, yeah, what from is the he, two guys. What, what was yeah. he doing there, like totally uh, in uh, open <laughs> space? Okay. And yeah. So Remagic stopped the exchange of rounds, so they now won two rounds in a row. Yeah. And they are in the lead. For they sure, are looking strong. Sure. They are looking strong. 
right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It looks like Pub of Tertero slow. No, they don't slow down. They know it's breaking out and they are they doing mistakes. Ambic already at his spot at the at the tank. RS is planting the bomb. Aris oh hacker kills uh Ambic with a random nade at the tank and bomb is planted. Uh, well played by Ares there. Mambo kills Par EM on the middle, and it's good chance of Pablo for the Pablo Treto to make this point. And Ares shouldn't look out there. He has seen two people. It's uh, four or two right now. Janswe kills Mambo on the middle, and. Nice kill by Aris on Janswe there. Mikey kills uh, Pico and Manasek revenged him, so it's 5 to 4 right now. And and yeah, and we are in the same situation as on record, so the last round right now is very important again. Well, when we look at the, in the past, uh, uh, Pavel Tretto were dominating uh, record, so the last round of the of the well, side six, wasn't... Six was three, I, I wouldn't call 6-3 a domination on record axis. No, I mean... Uh, yeah, but I, I get what you mean. So you were you were talking about allies. Yeah, about the their allies, yeah. Right now, it's 3-on-3 three three situation. Uh, Ares doesn't hesitate and planting Stasis right away. It's planted. good decision by him, I would say. Mikey already had the plant. They probably know he is here, so they should be careful about that. PRM is. Oh, Ares doesn't know about PRM. He's gonna get killed. He's get. Oh, it's uh, it's Mikey. He's getting killed. It's all alone, Mikey. Uh, Pico. I mean. Uh, okay. Whatever. It's. Uh, it's a point for the remagic. Is the sixth point? We change the sides. And yeah, we will see how well Power of Tretto will manage uh, this situation. Uh, I would bet on uh, like uh, Power of Tretto are having stronger attack. Uh, they really missed some rounds there uh, it could be even 6 to 4 in favor of uh, power of retro but uh, yeah yeah but i, I get what you mean so you were you were talking about allies yeah about the their allies yeah So, change sides, let's see what is the tactics of the re-magic, I think uh, they push it also on A pretty hard. Yeah, middle and A, seems yeah, like a middle and yeah, A push. Yeah, exactly. Nice nade on the middle, Mikey already camping on the window there. Nice kill by Iris, Jansve is already on the middle there, he might be able to get the Iris here. No, he's not able to get him, even though he was in the back uh, to him. So it's five on two right now. Remagic need to slow down. Hacker kills Manjasek in the MG, and this round is going pretty much in favor of Power of Retro. Nice kill by Mambo in the middle. Well played. It's all alone. Hacker, they know where he is. Iris is killed him and well played by them. I think this round was uh, really well played by the Power of Retro because they have done so much damage with the nades at the beginning. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah, they were yeah, have some you nice seen nades uh, at the beginning. Yeah, yeah have yeah. you seen that? Uh, at least yes. three players were under half HP, so 
Yeah. That's a good start. That's what you need, but... Yeah, Let's Manjasek see if they can continue. is not able to make it to the hotel. Janswe kills him. And they are already running behind the hotel. No, they are not. Iris shut down uh, BRM and Hacker is gonna try to revenge him. No, he won't revenge him, uh, revenge him because Iris is getting killed in the NG. And A is clean. A is clean. Hacker also kills Mambo uh, somewhere. And Pico needs to run away from the from the respawn. And bomb Explosive is planted. planted. And Pico is running from the respawn. But this really uh, a bad spot to run from because you can't yeah. really do anything. Yeah. Yeah, well played by V Magic. Yeah, and this was a nice A push from them. Yeah, they they, they slowed down a little bit. Uh, yep, but, but still they still managed to yeah, do yeah, a good job. Exactly. We are still seeing the same tactics. Uh, three running uh, towards the middle. I think we are seeing a scope there. Uh, yeah, Jansve is having a scope. We are seeing. Par EM uh, getting hit a little bit by a nade already in the rush house there and Ambik might uh, spot him there Mambo is also in the in the bathroom so they are having the good positions there Yeah, V-Magic don't really make a fast crossing uh, behind the hotel there. Nice kill by Ambik uh, on the middle there. Nice kill by Manjasek on Hacker from the MG. Mikey uh, revenged uh, his teammate on the middle and uh, right now it's all alone. Uh, Mambo trying to wait for the Mikey there. And Mikey is there but Iris kills him. He should be careful uh, aiming uh, Janswe behind the hotel, yeah, but he's getting taken down. Nice kill by Manjasek from the MG. And it's all alone, uh, Aussie and Tank now, and Mambo takes him down. So, it's the second point for Pablo Fretro. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's again, it's, it's again a close map between these two teams on this map, so... Yeah, as I said, this we is really, really interesting map to see as a decisive map because you can't really see say what uh, what side is stronger. Usually, our X side, but in this map, it's not like this that. Seems like we are seeing a really, really English. fast push. Yeah. Really fast push. They are going. Oh, what a nade from the ally side on his teammates, and they are already on the plan. Janswe is planting, Bomb is planting, 5 on 5 right now, Janswe needs to hide, uh, nades are running in, he's not able to kill uh, the guy at the tank, and it's 5 on 5, so really interesting, 5 on 3 right now, and Janswe kills uh, Aris with the Thompson, and Pico is here able to kill, so it's 2 it 2 uh, the situation slows down, Par EM is crouching at the, at the plant, Banyasek meanwhile getting killed by Hacker there. And PRM killed Pico there, it was really fast rush from uh, V-Magic, they basically didn't hesitate, they went with the Thompson for the plant. Yeah, they and, uh, and what was surprising is that Remagic managed to plant the bomb without without killing anyone. Yeah. So that's Well that's basically a planting the A plant uh, without killing anyone uh, is doable because you can't get killed from any side. We are seeing Manyasek is gonna have tough time there. Two kills from the X side. Three three people falls down. Four people falls down from the X side and we are gonna see the ninth point for the V-Magic. Uh, Explosives planted. Same round like the previous one. Big rush on A. Uh, two, two guys running uh, towards the tank. Uh, 
uh, one of them planting really strong decision there. Pablo Ferretro don't know what to do about that. We will see if they if they change the tactics there. Looks like Ambik wants to keep the bar and I think in this situation it's pretty pretty uh, good decision because Bari is strong weapon uh, yeah to kill uh, on the mid range so he's gonna keep the Bari and we are seeing the ninth point for the V magic I don't think we magic are gonna change the strategy yeah, this now. Is, this they are is gonna working for them. Yeah, yeah, they are gonna they are gonna do the same, and we should expect uh, part of the of changing their plans. We are seeing Manyasek in the MG. Uh, one, they are not basically nice kill by Mamba opening kill with a with a with a nade. Really important. Mm, MB might be able to kill Aussie. No, Aris takes him down in the rush house. And it's 5 on 3 right now, well played by Paro Zeretro. And they re magic need to slow down uh, even more because right now it's 5 on 1. And I don't think uh, BRM is able to do anything uh, well played by Paro Zeretro. Uh, I must say, uh, this round seemed to me like a little bit lucky. Opening kill uh, with a nade. Yeah, so that nade was quite lucky. Uh, I, I, I was watching Mikey. Yeah, and it. And also, uh, also good bad timing for the for the uh, rusher. And so I don't. I'm not expecting uh, changing uh, the tactics of V Magic there. No, they change the tactics. They are rushing middle, and Ambik is gonna have tough time there. Thompson getting killed. Two in the library already. Mambo is not able to kill anyone. What are they going to do from the library? We are seeing Ares going to the back. And he kills Jan he needs to back up because he was... Uh, next player was expecting him and he needs to back up to secure the... Try to secure the point. But he was totally... Uh, I don't know, like... Confused or he was trying to jump on the B jump. But he was... He just got killed and we magic are able to... Plant a plant. Uh, that's Explosive. unfortunate for Pablo Retro. I just thought uh, they will just secure this round, but this round just run out uh, in favor for the re magic. PRM needs to go. Needs to clutch this for this for his team. Let's see. And he doesn't manage to do so. Well played. That that was well a very played, important very clutch. Really important. It was 3v2 and V Magic just missed the opportunity uh, of making the tenth point there when the bomb was planted. Really important uh, point for the power of retro. And with uh, with this uh whatever uh, we are getting close to the final uh, final points and it's getting tougher and tougher. We are seeing three people running to the A. Uh, no changing of the positions for the power of the retro. And we are seeing two people behind the hotel already and this can make big trouble. Nice kill by Manyasek but he's going to get killed by PyUM right away and it's three people from the V-Magic at the hotel and they might be able to plant right away it's only Arves at the A plant behind the MG and when V-Magic will go to the plant they won't be able to do anything here I, I have seen Mambo is already on the jump and he might be able to 
do anything. Yeah, he kills Pariam on the plant. Ars nine also nine. killed Janswe in the MG. Well played by them. It's 9-9. Nine nine. And huge comeback from Power of Retro. Well, hi huge comeback from uh, Power of Retro. And I think, uh, Danny, that Power of Retro are really uh, in. Yeah, uh, they have the momentum right yeah, now. Yeah, they are having the momentum there. And V Magic can be worried right yeah, now about the two changes points. Now a bit because they, they can be they worried about the two points now. Now, and we are seeing two people running to the middle and three people running to the B. Ambik is not able to kill Janswe in the middle. Janswe kills two people. Mikey kills Aussie on the middle. Meanwhile, and Pico getting killed on the B. Fast round there. Only last Arves lasts uh, on, on the B plan. He's what able to kill. kill two people. Well played by them. Unfortunately, he missed his shot with the rifle there. And Janswe meanwhile planting A. So it's 2v1 and Hacker kills Arves. Really nice round. Really yeah, fast. Well played round. by Remagic. They they did did a nice thing by uh, changing the tactics and pushing B and middle I'm rather than A. So yeah, and yeah, they are at I'm match point right now. I'm almost having a boner from this game right now. What about you, Danny? Um, I'm being calm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe boner is a strong word, but still, you know. No, but this is a good match. I agree. Hacker kill Mambo running to the bathroom. Ares also getting killed. It's five on on five on three right now. Nice kill by Mayasek. Nice kill by Ambik. It's three v three. Janswe kills uh, Mayasek in the hotel with a Thompson. It's probably like fifth round for Janswe with a Thompson. Pari am already planting the bomb. Explosives planted. And it's three to or three on two. Pick up behind the MG, MB and MB and the tank. What can I do? What can they do? Pariem kills MB at the plant. It's all alone. Pico at the MG. Pico kills Pariem. It's two v one right now, and Pico doesn't have time. He's trying to defuse. He's trying to defuse. Is he gonna do it? No, he needed to. He needed to <laughs> not what defuse. Oh my god, what a match. Well played by both teams. Power of Retro had the momentum. Remagic did a nice move there. Really nice match from both teams. And. I'm really happy I have seen this match. Uh, really fun to watch, watch. So, thank you for watching, all of you guys. Uh, so, in the final, we are gonna see Danny from this stream and uh, alias uh, Punk52 and Remagic. And I think it's gonna be totally, totally uh, interesting match because uh, because Danny, when when have you played with uh, with uh, Remagic? Officially, I MB think the plan. it's all alone. Pickle. I think it was like two years ago when there was an online cup. Yeah. But I, I I don't know if we have played against them since then. Well, you are having a totally different uh, different strategy than the than other teams, you know, when when we played against you. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll do our best. Yeah.